Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So, as you know, this is not a shop video. I promise I will eventually get back out in the shop, but this is something that just uh, I've been putting off and putting off and putting off, and I just got to work on it. So, um, my house has a full basement, and uh, I think I explained it in the last uh, video that uh, when my wife and I got married, we were a blended family. And uh, I, you know, I had three kids, and she had two. And uh, at the time, the housing market was through the roof. We decided, you know, do we want to buy a bigger place or use what we have? So we decided to use what we have. And uh, so about uh, two thirds of the basement was a two car garage, and then a little family room uh, that I'm sitting in here now. And so, uh, you know, I pulled out the garage doors, wrapped some stone around the house. I'll show that to you. Um, built up the uh, the garage floor because it was about an inch and a half lower than the rest of the finished uh, concrete. Um, framed two rooms in there, drywalled it, and uh, so that, you know, we had five bedrooms. And um, so that, that worked out pretty good for us. And, uh, you know, so, you know, over time, um, you know, we really didn't use the family room much and it sort of became a catch-all storage. My wife come down one day and says, hey, uh, there's this black stuff in the corners of of the of the uh, basement. I tore it out and it was uh, it was wet and it was mold um, from condensation, not from leakage. So anyway, so I uh, just we I tore it all out and uh, you know my wife says, well this would be a good time to redo the basement. So in the last video, <clears throat> I think uh, I said I had a 37 foot wall here beside me that runs uh, the length, and then I had an area that I was wanting to do for a uh, uh, for a small office for us and maybe probably later after uh, we're empty nesters it'd probably become just a big pantry so uh, and then we'll use one of the different rooms for an office so anyway let me uh, let me show you the uh, the the rough floor plan that I'm you know developed and going by and then I'll take you a quick walk through of um, what I've got done so far and probably what the next part would be and then before I give you the next update so let me uh, get the camera in position and uh, we'll we'll look at this uh, floor plan. So I'll catch you in just a second. Okay, so here's the floor plan that I've uh, derived. Now what you're not seeing here, uh, this continues on this way and this is where the two bedrooms are. These are the double doors and then we are standing right here. And um, so I have framed this entire wall here and I have framed the office wall. So probably what I will do next is frame this back wall here and come around off over here and then put in a half wall here to sort of break these two rooms apart but you know keeping as much clear visible space as I can. And then off over here um, I'll bring the hallway wall will come down and we'll bring a little stub wall over by the steps to rebuild the closet there and a little laundry room, a bathroom. A closet for the bathroom and then this area right here will remain unfinished but that will have my sewage ejection system and uh, that sort of stuff so I'm gonna go handheld <clears throat> and uh, I'll let's do a quick walk through and uh, so give me a minute and we'll do that okay so I want to apologize um, you know my my when I have the camera on the tripod it's it's bad but me holding it is probably going to be worse all right, so here's the corner that I started in, and I can't really get it all in frame, but you get the idea. Runs all the way up to those double doors down there. And then here we see the office framed in. This is roughly eight by 12. This is gonna be big enough for what I wanna use it for. To finish the office, I will have to, uh, as far as framing goes, I will build a soffit around this trunk here. Um, and then I will, I guess, you know, kind of scab out the ceiling so that I can get a hard ceiling up there. And then I was asked about this, uh, um, this duct work, and hopefully I'm not blinding you with the light. This duct work just runs up over here into the, uh, into the uh, plenum. This will just, uh, this will be removed, and this is just will come straight out into the uh, office. And then if we look over here, that's where a closet is sort of used to be. I got to finish cleaning it out. But where you see these two black pipes, this will this will form the hallway. This is a uh, uh, 40 inch hallway because I want to make sure they got I could get appliances and or whatever in and out of here. And then I'll build a little half wall 
along the side of the steps here uh, where I'll put a door into the side. So the next part that I want to do in this section of the basement obviously is I need to do this back wall and uh, the side wall and you see the side wall still I still have to do some tear out um, and then I you know I still got to scrub and kill some mold and and then I got to re reseal the block but you see I got piles and piles of junk down here we uh, we do a lot of canning and that sort of thing so we got that in the way and if you look over in that closet you see there's a bunch of food and stuff stuffed in that closet and then the uh, intention of this big room is I'm going to put a wet bar uh, back off on that side over there. I'll put a half wall right here where this post is to the back wall. And then this whole area over here is, you know, I'll put a, I'll put a big TV and a, some sort of a fireplace. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. And then on, hopefully I don't make you too dizzy here. I'll go slow. On this wall, back wall, where the office is, I've got... Uh, I've got a couple machines that I want to put there. Uh, you'll see that there's a pachinko machine uh, back further in. There's a slot machine and then our son bought us a one-up uh, Galaga uh, arcade machine. Although I still think I probably will eventually build a MAME cabinet. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with that, uh, you should look it up. M-A-M-E, MAME. Okay, so let me... Uh, uh, my battery was dead and I'm on AC, so let me locate myself to the other side of the uh, basement and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, so I'm at the other end of the basement here. Here's my uh, double doors coming in. You see that I've framed around them. There's the other edge of the office. Right down through here will be the hallway. And then we look over here, you know, I have my washer and dryer. Those will actually be moved to that wall right there. I'll bring services over there and then I'll extend the uh, uh, the dryer duct probably with some flat duct and then I'll put a booster fan up over there where it vents out so that the dryer doesn't have to push so hard. Uh, what you see over here, um, this is my rack that I have uh, my internet comes into and it's distributed throughout the house. Most of the house has ethernet cable run through it. That was a little project that I had done several months ago. Down below it is a, a computer that uh, uh, has been a test run for me. It's just an old junk computer running free NAS, uh, but I have about six terabytes of storage on there, and it provides uh, all the on-demand video and music throughout the house. Um, now that it's sort of proven itself, I'll uh, probably build a better machine when all this is done to replace that. And then. Back over here where this uh, big freezer is would be about where the bathroom is going to go. A closet uh, right here about where that trash can is and then this corner over here is where the sewage ejection system be. As you see that's where my big lateral comes out. So that's pretty much uh, what, I, what uh, I plan to do down here. It's a lot of work uh, especially for one guy. Um, but you know as long as I keep on it um, my spare rib would be happy. Thank you Jesus. and. Uh, I won't be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to let the battery charge up, um, and then I'll take you outside and, and show you uh, the exterior of what I've done out there. So I'll uh, see you shortly. Okay, guys, I'm still handheld here, but uh, here at the end of the house, uh, you'll see where, the, where you see the two windows. That's where my garage doors used to be. And unfortunately, the brick that's in my house, there's three different colors. I was unable to match those. As a matter of fact, the company that uh, made that brick is out of business. So my solution was to uh, put some airstone up with a water table for the top. Uh, I need to paint them windows pretty bad, don't I? Uh, and then I wrapped it from that corner of the house all the way across and then up to the deck. Now the deck there uh, where I got a bunch of gardening stuff, well, I want to probably frame a wall across there and use that for, um, you know, to keep garden stuff in, that sort of thing. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd give you a peek of that, what I've done, and, and then uh, uh, originally, if we look down here at the sidewalk, you see that it turns smack dab into the wall. There was a little single door there, and then just regular brick all the way across. So we cut out, uh, we cut out a hole for the, for the doors and put in the French doors, and that's what you're seeing on the inside. So this whole section down here 
uh, on you know there's two bedrooms so anyway I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, little view of that and and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post this video and and uh, so I can continue on working and I'll give you another update uh, you know in a few days or three or four days whatever and if you're interested and got any questions or anything about what I'm doing just post down in the comments um, these videos are helpful or entertaining or anything like that please consider liking subscribing and sharing uh, and I appreciate uh, all the feedback and and all and and all you all you folks you've, you've been really good to me and patient with me uh, throughout this whole process so other than that have a blessed day